Hello everybody and welcome back to Tech It with me, Nihai Hobo, where um, today we're going to be doing a bit of filling in. Uh, there was a missing episode, um, uh, I think it was about when, between 19 and 20, 18, 19, 19, 20, something like that. So I'm going to go around and do a quick tour of the house and show you what uh, you missed in that episode. Along with that, we're also going to be, I'm also going to be showing you some of the stuff that I've been doing off camera, some of the less important stuff. Um, so, without further ado, let's, oh, well, actually, I tell you what, let's do some hellos first. Uh, hello to um, Pro Paradox Gamer. Uh, hopefully you'll be enjoying the, the Mountain Blade series at the moment. Um, there's another new user who didn't have a username, but welcome to you anyway. Jimbles2009, Death to Kyle, and then no word of a lie, um, straight away afterwards, Matt McKyle. Um, subscribed <laughs> so it was one after another so whether or not that's the same person um or just a, a screaming coincidence i don't know um but whatever welcome to you guys um so firstly um we finished our water plant <clears throat> our hydro station here but i might need your guys help because if you look at this it's just kicking out empty buckets about one in every eight uh, comes out full and I've looked at this, and I've changed the, the speed of the, the timer. I've put more buckets in, I've put less buckets in, I've put more pipe in. Um, I, it, it just doesn't make any sense as to why it's not just sending out full buckets. Um, because, you see, there's plenty of room for buckets to go into these. It's not like there's, it's, it's crammed full of space. So. If anybody can suggest what the hell's going on with that. The other thing that I did is I disconnected <coughs> the deployer here um, and just had the... Um, sorry. I disconnected the filter here. Um, whether or not I'm supposed to be doing something with this, I don't know. No, I don't think so. Um. <clears throat> yeah, so I don't think I'm, I'm supposed to do anything with this. I, I don't know, am I supposed to put like a full bucket in it or something to... I'll just give that a try. So it might have been just a derpy moment. Ah, oh, Jesus, <clears throat> how stupid, <laughs> how stupid of me, right, okay, so, excellent, right, so that's working now, so that should be generating a lot more electricity, um, see the back box off those six solar panels there is doing absolutely fine, and it's actually, uh, jeez, that day's gone quick, um, I started this, uh, but I hadn't started recording with, um, not so long back you see the world's not even had a chance to spawn in yet um but we do have a quarry here um which is taking down what was a vista over here let's just give it a second to see if it spawns in. the internet's being a little bit slow today um it's taken me a long time to get this far uh let's see because this would be about where it's cut but it shouldn't have cut straight down like that without taking this with it first it should have flattened it all um <coughs> however it does it doesn't seem impossible that it seems to have done just this bit uh to begin with um hmm no, so we can go have a look at some of the so that's um that's the quarry and the quarry is actually a sky quarry so we can go up and have a look at that uh, as you can see it's just chucking through stuff there like no man's business um so here we have i've moved the energy link so it's right next to the quarry so we're gonna need to make another one of those and here you go. 
on top of the world, quite literally. So yeah, it would seem that it's carved out around the edge of this this mountain rather than uh, straight through it. Hold on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That came out of nowhere. Um, so yeah, so that's our, our, our quarry there. So going through all that quite nicely. Now, um, atop of the house as well, we did the, the wind farm. So we've got the hydro station, we've got the wind farms. But on, on top of there as well, we've got the solar panels. I've not got enough scaff blocks there to um, make a way up. But maybe between these, we should be able to do it. So here we go, this is what the roof looks like these days. Um, still need to get some glowstone up here to, to make this look a little bit tidier, but uh, this is gonna be full of um, solar panels. Eventually I will start doing medium, um, uh, low and medium voltage solar arrays, but for the time being, this is what we've got up here. So we'll jump back down. Don't think yeah, I haven't got it. <coughs> Put the screwdriver away. Get the shovel it out. Um, and then that piping runs all the way under here and round, and then down and, and comes out under here. <laughs> Excuse me. Now we've got our, our puppies, they've, they've come over from over the hill. And then comes in here. I've left this open just for the time being, just so I can make sure that my sorting system's okay. Um, I don't know if there's anything different in that. I know glowstone's becoming something of an issue. Oh, uh, not glowstone, sorry, redstone. Becoming something of an issue. It doesn't look like we've hit anything. Um, um, so yeah, that uh, that pipe then runs all the way under here, and then splits so that uh, we've got this stuff here which hasn't been organised yet, uh, and we can do that. But then this chest will take all the um, <coughs> the, the the stone and. Um, the mud and sand and all the crap that we we don't really want uh, that all goes through there let's just see how our um mfe is doing so yeah we're quite low on power there i think it's the hydro station which is pretty much single-handedly keeping those uh keeping those things running but whilst we've got it um let's put you into white and you into white now, this is the other thing as well. We've added these. I forget the um, transposers. That's what we were after. If you've already put that in the description, thank you very much. Um, whoops, don't want to... Um, uh, yeah, it's a transposer. So, what happens now is we can put iron and tin in there. This is beautiful. Uh, so we're going to be staying with the pneumatic pipes rather than the, the cobblestone ones. And that goes down into the macerator. But then, it's, but then it sends it all back, look. No need for an overflow. So it stops the tin ore in its tracks. Okay, so then we've got five of these being macerated. And then when that's finished, bosh, out it goes. And becomes... Um, becomes the bars as as predicted <clears throat> and then it comes out here and goes into this chest the wonderful thing about this though <clears throat> is when this runs out it'll automatically start pushing the tin through and any other materials which are in that. So, but it will only put them through in order. So you've got no need for obsidian pipes and overflow pipes. And having redstone engines hanging out of everywhere. So it's a really, really tidy little way of, of sorting it out. It takes up a bit more space. What with 
um, having to have these transposers, but this is no worse than having a redstone engine and the lever. Um, you get this redstone wiring everywhere as well, which looks cool. Or you could even bury that if you really wanted to. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I was out at work last night and uh, I've got a bit of a sore throat from having to shout so much. Um, So, I thought we said to get coal coming this way. <clears throat> through the blue. Oh, we haven't got any room to put it through there, that's why. Um, I wonder if we could... Let's... Um, so, I think what we'll do is we'll have to come here. This is about to get quite messy. So after that iron pipe, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing, um, no we'll do it like this actually, like that, and then um, to stop any more mess. Or any more unnecessary mess. Just pick these up. I can't pick those up. You dig down like this though to come and grab it. Ooh. Coal everywhere. Holy crap. And then we'll pop like that. No, what we won't, what we'll do is we'll take that those two back, pop that there, and this can be a much No it can't. It's gonna have to be as I thought. Uh, but we can put an iron pipe there, can't we? And Yeah, that's worked out well actually. Yeah, so that should work now. All you just need to do is just wait for a touch of coal. And we'll have oops have some noms in the process. So yeah, oh can just come back and check and you see it's gone. And it's all been cleared out. So yeah, brilliant, brilliant little sorting system that one. Um, fortunately, there's not really a way to check to, to show you it working again without um, any more materials coming through. But let's say it's very, very intuitive. So, I'll tell you what we could do is turn this off by knocking it off the wall. Wait for some uh, minerals to go in there, some, some blocks of ore. Is that... Right, do we put uranium to come through this? Yes, we have. Cool. Um... Uh, the other th nice thing about the pneumatic pipes is they're high enough that you can jump on them. So that was everything out of that, wasn't it? And then, that can then go and be bopped back over here. Uh, yep, okay, and we'll just see. We'll just quickly nip back outside, just see if there is any more ores coming through. And then we will continue the tour. Um, Mr. Skellington, Mr. Creeper. Mm, doesn't look like we're in any immediate risk of, of catching anything, but you never know. Um, certainly doesn't look like in this particular pipe anything's going to happen. So, we'll start heading upstairs anyway. Um, 
to, and also this episode, I want to put a kennel on the side here, somewhere. Get him, dogs! Picked a bad place to come and mess with me there. Well done, boys. Nicely shown. Okie doke. Uh, so, upstairs we go. So, eventually, um, all of the chests are going to be moved upstairs. And this will all just become plant fabrication. I don't know why you're inside, puppy. Um... So this is the, the this floor. It still looks the same, apart from we have now built a conference chair room thing uh, with our computer to check stocks and shares. Um, we're going to be taking this down as well. So that's um, our our meeting room, our basalt high back chairs. But um, the one where I've spent a bit of time is up here. So we've done the ceiling lights. We also have made an area rug and a lamp as well. So on the on the feather feather room layer. So yeah, it's starting to. I thought there was too much white, so I wanted to start introducing a bit of colour. And um, I I think that's worked quite nicely in all honesty. The, yeah, so that seems to be going quite well there. Um, we'll go put some floor back downstairs, and we'll make them make these guys a doghouse. Should really wait to see if that works. Just double check it, but um, time is a ticking. So, could just do with putting a spot of, um, I'll say a spot, there's going to be shitloads. Hmm, not as much as I expected though. I put it into the diamond block because uh, I want to, I don't want this overfilling and, and spilling everywhere, so. Uh, that's why, that's why I do that. Why were you trying to go that way? Flowers? I think flowers could actually probably get dropped onto the... Uh, the crap bucket list. Right, you come with me. Dogs don't live inside. Dogs live outside. Come on, pup. Good boy. Good boy. Right, so I think we're going to put it here. Um, how are we going to do this? Because that window's quite low. Or do we put it over here? We level this out. Um... I wonder if there's a better building material. If we're gonna have it as a detached building, we could have we could have something else for for once. Um, maybe we just do it out of wood. Let's have some trees down. Let's go felling. Oops, sorry about that. Just turning to look at the clock, and my my headphones caught the caught the pop shield. Uh, I think one more tree. It's not going to be that big a house. Cool. And we'll come back in a moment and get the um, get the saplings up and ready, and. Uh, maybe we'll level this out a touch more.
Oh, I don't know if I did that in the episode. I, I, I had a couple of buckets of lava left over. Um, so I, I just want to and pop them in there for the time being. And boop, down you come. Cool. So, that should be, um, should be enough to work with there. Uh, just go and just grab a couple more saplings and just drop these back down again. Lest we be deforest. Doghouse will be <clears throat> Yeah, you guys go in there and I'll build it round you. Oh, there you go. You can you can be with me whilst I build this. Uh, yeah, I kind of like that idea. Um, then what I want to do for the next one is I want to the white layer. Put out of the way. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm immediately regretting the decision to have these dogs come with me. Come on, that's it. Seriously, dog, fuck off. Get off here. Now I have you exactly where I want you. Uh, yeah, we've got some torches. We'll pop those in. to need some steps for the roof um, I'm going to try getting these buckets back in the the watermill machine as well uh, what can we take out of here um, right, so there's a few things we don't need like we don't need that coal um, just pop that down there for the time being She had some marble. We can take the wood out. Um, wooden slabs might do the job. We can get rid of. No, string doesn't live in there. Where does string live? Oh, string lives here. Arrows live here. Arrows live here. String lives here. Um, pipes live here. And I think cable lives here as well. can go to. <coughs> um, take that bucket out and sticks is the last one we're going to want. Is that it? Three sticks? I'm sure I saw another stack. Hmm. Geesing not. And yep. Uh, 
just lagged a little bit there. That's that's what happened to that. I've got that the wrong way around, haven't I? Actually, no, I can't make that because... Yes, I can. It's going to make the one, though. going to need a lot more than that. I know what happened to my sticks. I use them all for um, making scaffolding. Right, so now we have 20 of those. Gonna do is gonna come out one more like that. Oh, why I'm trying to jump over that? Everyone knows you can't do that. Um, um, we just need to take another tree down. Tree taken down. Uh, where's my tree? Is it just me? I can't see any logs. <coughs> oh. Right, uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so somehow I wound up up here. Um, and it doesn't look like it's finished with me yet either. Uh, so, again, I'll be back in one moment. Uh, sorry about that. Um, however, I don't think we're quite finished with that just yet. So if it happens again, I think I'm going to have to end, I'm gonna have to finish recording for the day. Because um, normally, where I could afford the time to fight with it and, and figure out what was wrong and, and work through all these issues... I um, put quite simply, I just haven't got the time today. Um, so what I'll have to do is uh, knock the recording on the head, and go and do my other jobs. If I get a chance later on, I might come back. Um, but uh, certainly um, try again tomorrow uh, when hopefully things have settled down or whatever the problem is, is a chance to rectify itself. Um, but as I say, we prevail for the time being. Let's go with some of these goddamn buckets as well. Um. Hopefully that hasn't overfilled it. Maybe we'll just take one or two out. Oh, no, you've got space. Yeah, that is a server that looks like it's slowing down a lot. Um, so we'll just try and get this roof on, because that's all I'm going to do to finish this episode up anyway, was just get the, the roof on here. That may, however, be more difficult than I'm letting on. Um, two, three, so that would be that. Take this one out here. Oh, God damn it. This is, yeah, this is 
going to make everything quite problematic. Ugh. Yeah, you go get him, guys. I haven't got time for you. <laughs> yes, it's becoming this is becoming a little tri tricky now. just turned into one of those days, isn't it? Where I, I really should just start looking at giving up. Um, the god of uh, the god of YouTubeisms doesn't want me to do this. Let's see how this works out, but maybe replacing those torches with uh, a, a glowstone strip through the roof. And try and stop things despawning on the top. It doesn't look like it's going to play out, though. Yeah, it's, I don't think it is. Maybe a couple of strips through the centre where the door is, then. So that would be like that. That would be like that, and then let's say we we'll go and grab. Come on, it's kind of the problem with having. <laughs> having the doors on shutters. Ah, <laughs> oh, but you're not gonna let me do this either, are you? Fuck's sake. <sighs> right, okay, that's it. Um, at that, I'm going to end, end the episode here because I'm just getting too angry to to, uh, to record now. Um, and I'm sorry uh, that it's, it's ended on such a down note, but um, you know, as you can see, beyond my control. But I'd like to thank you very much for, uh, for joining me. And don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. I'm off to go and bolt the server clients and I will see you next time. Goodbye.